Welcome one, welcome all to yet another video from Core Confidence Life. I am Dennis. Yeah, we talk about astrology, numerology, and self-discovery here. So feel free to follow this channel. If you haven't been here before, follow, follow, follow. You're going to want to stay tuned. Like this video, share this video amongst your friends, the fans of astrology and numerology. If you want to find out more about what we do here, go to www.coreconfidencelife.com. That's www.coreconfidencelife.com. All right. Today's video is going to be on numerology and a particular number in numerology, which I personally think should be considered a major number, a core number of numerology. In another video, we spoke about the four core placements in your numeroscope. What are the four most major numbers you can squeeze out of your uh, numerology chart? But there's another number that's uh, not mentioned in the same light as being a major number, but I think it is. And this is going to have me talk to you about your attitude. That's right, your attitude. Your attitude number. The attitude number in numerology is one of the most important numbers to know about and to understand and to work with in your numerology chart. And you don't need any uh, advanced decoding. You don't need to know letter to number conversions. You don't need to know the Fibonacci code. You don't got to know none of that. You just have to know your month and day. Now, some of you who are deep into numerology, I'm sure you've done research before and you're wondering, well, what's the attitude number? Well, as I call it in the wild, wild west of numerology, the terms that we have for the placements, people call it different things. You hear attitude number, you hear approach number, you hear achievement number, you hear, what else, your son number, you hear all kinds of things. I normally refer to it as the achievement number or attitude number, right? And it's the sum total of your month and day reduced to a single digit. Now, you know in numerology, we always work with single digits and master numbers, at least on the basic level, of course. And so we're going to keep it kind of basic and talk to you about this attitude number. It's very, very important. Once again, you find it by adding your month and day. So let's give an example, an easy one. Let's say somebody is born August 1st. That's all you need. You don't need the year. You don't need anything. Just a month and day. So somebody is born August 1st. 8 plus 1 is 9. So then their attitude number or achievement number right, is 9. Let's take somebody else. Let's take somebody born uh, April 3rd. That's 4 plus 3. That's seven. So that means their achievement number or attitude number is seven. Now, what about people with double digit numbers, all kind of things like that? What if somebody was born, I don't know, December 4th? Well, you can add four plus 12 or 12 plus four will give you 16. You reduce that to seven. Now, I know 16 is a karmic number, but we'll deal with that in another video. So we, when reducing it, you always reduce it to the single digit or master number, right? And this attitude number is a huge deal. Let me tell you about what this thing does. The first thing that it does is that it shows you the energies that you can step into in order to enhance your life. That's right. I know there's a train in the background. My windows are open. I'm in New York. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing it wrong. <laughs> so the attitude number is what you can step into to enhance your life. Right? So if somebody has an attitude number of seven, like we did with this person on April 3rd, they gave him a seven. Seven is the number of truth and research, very introverted and cerebral very curious, interested on how things work, very much into spirituality, maybe some music and things like that. So 
if you've got a seven attitude number, you stepping into the energy of seven in a positive way will add to your life. Right? The attitude is how you how your attitude is when you approach things in life. How you that's right, the approach number as well, right? How your attitude, your approach, and the things you could achieve when you tune into that number. Right? Now, of course, you can guess that the opposite of the achievement is uh, not achieving. So if you're not conscious of this number, you could live in the shadow. So if you're not conscious of your seven attitude number, if you have one, you are living in the shadows of that. Maybe you feel a little bit uh, introverted. Maybe you feel a little shy. Maybe you feel like no one really quite understands you. Maybe you're maybe trying to understand yourself on some degree. So when you're not tuning in consciously to these energies of your attitude number, you're going to be living in the shadows. If you have an attitude number of three, that's supposed to be joy and freedom of expression and creativity. But if you're living in a shadow of three, you've got all that self-doubt and insecurities and those voices in your head telling you that you don't measure up. So look at your month and day. Reduce it to a single digit or master number, and that will show you your attitude, your approach, and your potential to achieve more. Right? So I'm born December 11, so 12 plus 11 is 23. You reduce that to 5. Right? So my, the way I approach things and my attitude is 5. I step into the 5 on a positive level, and I can roll with the punches and deal with those changes and understand diversity and be into traveling and different atmospheres but on the shadow side of that five yeah could be a little impulsive and have addictive tendencies or hide from change things like that so that's really important to understand is your attitude number the second thing that the attitude number does for you in your chart is show you your energy every year. The attitude number is part of how we come up with your personal year number, right? So all you have to do is take your month and day and add it to the year that you want to know more about. That would be your personal year. We'll cover that in another video, but this attitude number is the key to finding out your personal year and other transits for any year you want to know about very 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 important the attitude number also goes along with other aspects like your first name to give a complete vision on how you approach life how you are in public how you deal with things in public the places and environments you like to uh, be in the places where you thrive using your attitude number along with your first name or growth number can give you a fuller picture on your approach to the world so your attitude number is very, very important. I think it should be considered a major number in numerology. It's a number we should all know about so we can consciously step into the power and the potential of this magical, what I would deem to be a core number, right? So when were you born and what are you going to achieve?